So this is just a quick video to show you all the steps that it takes to decorate my pots in these striped patterns. So this is step one, the first coat of underglaze. All right, our second coat of underglaze has dried to the touch, so now we're ready for the third coat. Okay, so the third coat of underglaze has dried to the touch, and next we need to cover the whole piece in wax. Before I do that though, I want to clean up the foot, make sure there's no blemishes, make sure there's no splatters from the underglaze or drips or anything like that that need to be dealt with. Uh, because once the underglaze is on there, it's going to seal everything up and we can't go back and clean that up. So I'm just going to take a sponge, make sure everything's nice and clean on that foot. Make sure there's no splatters around the edge here that need to be dealt with. And then that'll need to dry for a couple of minutes before we do the wax. Now I've got another one right here uh, that I already did. And so now we can do the wax. I'm just going to do the bottom section first. Then we'll let that dry and do the rest. That's it. All right, the wax on the bottom of the pot is now dry. It only takes a few minutes with the wax resist. This is the same wax that I use to wax the bottoms of pots when I'm glazing. Um, nothing fancy about it. Um, so now we can wax the upper half, but just like I did with the foot, I'm going to take a sponge and clean up the lip first. All right, that just has to dry for a couple minutes and then we can wax the upper half. I've got another one here we can go ahead and do. All right, we're on to step eight. So the wax is dried, the whole piece is covered with wax, and now at this point, I'm gonna take a needle tool and cut all the fine lines. So I'm cutting these right through the wax into the clay. We'll also sign it at this point. Now we need to let this dry for a little bit. All these little burrs and, and rough bits that are on there from cutting the lines need to dry. Once they're dry, we can brush them off. If we try to brush them off while they're still wet, um, they'll just smoosh into the lines and make a big mess. So these are gonna sit for probably 20 minutes to half an hour uh, before we can brush off all the burrs. 
All right, next step. So I actually let these sit overnight covered up because uh, I ran out of time to finish this up yesterday. So uh, they've sat under plastic overnight and now all the little burrs from cutting the lines have dried. So now we're going to take a brush and brush off all those little burrs. I just use a regular flat brush that I've cut the bristles down. It used to be about so tall. Um, I've cut them down so that they're stiffer and they get into those lines better. Uh, usually I wear my respirator while I'm doing this because it does create some dust, uh, but for the sake of this demo I'm not going to do that. Here we go. Okay, so now that we have that done, now we can take our black underglaze and fill in all the lines. I'm first going to go across to make sure that it gets into the lines, and then we'll come across it this way uh, to make sure that it really fills them up. So there you can see they're all filled up. I've done the bottom, I've done where I've signed it as well. Now we're going to let this dry until the underglaze is dry on the surface of the wax. Once that is dry, I know that it has also set up in the lines enough that I can come through and uh, wipe off the surface without messing up the lines. So that'll take about 10 minutes. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, the underglaze, the black that we put on in the lines has set up on the surface, which tells me that it has also set up enough in the lines that I can now take a sponge and clean off the surface. Uh, remember, we covered the piece with the wax, so the black has not stuck where the wax is. Um, it is only going to stick down inside the lines where we have cut through the wax. Uh, so now we're gonna take a sponge and clean off the surface here. I use two different sponges. I'm going to start with uh, one of the generic yellow sponges just to get the bulk of it off. Then I'm going to switch over to a really fine-grained cleanup sponge which will uh, get every last little bit off of there. All right, so that's it, it's done. Uh, it was 11 steps. Uh, each step goes pretty quickly, but there's a lot of them, so it adds up. Typically, I work through 20 to 30 pieces at a time. Um, that way, by the time I'm done getting through all of them, uh, the, piece, uh, the first one I did is ready to go on to the next step. Uh, the underglaze is dried enough, whatever. 
Um, it just takes long enough going through that many pieces that I can just keep moving through. But to do, you know, 30 pieces does take me about five hours to get through all of them. So at this point, uh, this mug is ready for its handle. Uh, where I attach the handle, I will have to scratch through the wax to make sure I get a really good joint. But other than that, uh, it's just like attaching a handle on anything else. So thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to post any questions. Thanks.